Um, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, and to say a heart thanks, heart thanks to Mandy Nichols and the Jiri Jiri dancers who you've just seen up here, who are amazing women, absolutely amazing women, who keep Aboriginal culture alive here in Victoria and uh, we are very blessed that they share their experiences and their culture with us. Distinguished guests that are here today, all of the delegates that are here, I want to welcome you to Victoria on behalf of the Victorian Government and to say how pleased we are to partner with Global Citizen now and have this conference here in Melbourne. Melbourne is not only uh, Australia's knowledge and innovation capital, but Victoria leads the nation in driving social equality and economic inclusion. Additionally, Melbourne is Australia's and one of the world's best cities for students. Thousands of young global citizens from around the world have chosen to study here and launch their careers here. Now, we know it's because of the innovation and the fantastic uh, education system that we have here in Victoria. And it's also because we put diversity at the centre of our government's policies. It's something we celebrate and we're so fortunate to have students from around 160 countries choosing to study with us here in Victoria, which is why it's fitting that the brightest young leaders and innovators from the Asia Pacific are gathering here today in Melbourne alongside ASEAN's Australian Leadership Summit occurring not far from here today. These initiatives underscore the importance of collaboration in driving action on the issues impacting our region. As a government, we recognise that our young people are the greatest asset we have. So it's critical that we invest in you and support you in every way that we can. We know that our young people have the right to self-determination and autonomy over their own lives. Through Victoria's youth strategy, our, our strategy for the future and our promise to our young people, young people's views have been taken into consideration and valued to inform every step of our strategy. We are also leading the nation here in Victoria when it comes to taking action on climate change. Just as a majority of um, the priorities that we've heard from young leaders around the world, including those of you here today, addressing the challenges of climate change is a key priority for us as a government. Victoria was one of the first jurisdictions in Australia to put, or, and in the world, I should say, to put a net zero emission target into law. And now we've brought that commitment forward to achieve a net zero target from uh, our original target of 2050 to 2045. And I hope the discussions that you'll have over the next few days will inspire collaborative efforts to build a more sustainable future for our region and our communities. A sustainable future cannot be realised without the participation and contribution of all Victorians. And while Victoria takes pride in the fact that our state leads the nation in progressive work, we want to improve the lives of women, of girls, of our GPTIQ plus communities in so many different ways. That's why we launched two really important strategies here in Victoria. The first one is the Pride in Our Future, which is Victoria's LGBTIQ plus strategy for the next 10 years to drive equality and inclusion. We're also advancing treaty and truth with our First Nations people here in this state. And I was really pleased as Minister for Women to launch our, our second gender equality uh, strategy and our first action plan, which is a roadmap around gender equality called Our Equal State, which is a plan for gender equality over the next four years with absolute real targets, 110 of them actually across our entire government. So as Minister for Women and Minister for Jobs and Industry, I'm immensely proud to be responsible for supporting women's participation in our thriving local economy. 
This includes a particular focus in getting women into areas that traditionally they have been underrepresented. These include the clean energy sector, manufacturing, tech, and also construction. Our digital jobs program targets women that are underrepresented to upskill their digital training and ensure they have access to well-paid jobs. In finishing, I'd like to reiterate how thrilled I am that this summit is here. Victoria invests in bold ideas, discoveries and innovations to improve the lives of people, not just here in Victoria, but all over the region and our world. And I commend the team at Global Citizen for realising your vision to bring the first international Global Citizen Now Summit to Melbourne. I wish you a really productive summit. I hope you can turn your ideas into actions. And I know um, you'll be hearing uh, up next from Hugh Evans, the CEO and founder of Global uh, Citizen, alongside with his friends. He was uh, one of the main drivers to establish this organisation in Melbourne in 2008. And we couldn't be prouder of uh, having that legacy here from Victoria. So Hugh and your team, welcome home. We're immensely proud of you and I want to thank you all uh, for participating. Thanks. <laughs>